Okay, so I'm in Bologna right now. I had to come for work, so I came for two days. Anyways, I wanted to vlog this stuff because I feel like no one will believe me unless I like actually show. So a couple months ago, I asked um, the universe, God, call it what you will, um, for a sign. I wanted to see, I chose something so random, a pink flamingo. And since then, for the last couple months, this was like right before summer, it's been a big sign in my life. Whenever I'm in alignment, I see pink flamingos everywhere. Um, and it's just like, it makes me so happy that it's like so, abs it's just so absurd. And firstly, my Airbnb, which I'm gonna show you later, it's so absurdly nice. And in, in a hidden cupboard of my Airbnb, there's this pink flamingo wrapping paper, so I'm like, haha, that's so nice. Thank you, Universe. <laughs> Love you. And then my intuition today guides me to this bubble tea place, which firstly, I love bubble tea. Um, and then look at the wallpaper. Just like beautiful, two pink flamingos, beautiful. So I get here and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm not even surprised anymore. It just makes me so happy. And then I'm like, there's a, a really cute shop next door. So I'm like, let me go in, have a little browse. The first pair of trousers I see, pink flamingos on them. Like I tell the woman, I'm like, cause I'm so shocked. I'm like, oh my God, I love pink flamingos. They're everywhere around here. And then the woman's like, oh, that's funny. You mentioned it. I just put this necklace in the window display and it's this necklace here. The cutest little pink flamingo <laughs> and i was like this is so crazy and i had to tell them i was like do you believe in god and they were like yes of course they're italian everyone here believes in god <laughs> um and i was like this is a sign from god and they probably thought i was crazy but i think they were really touched i was having a good day but like this just little things like this just make me feel like so protected supported there's this term called pronoia. So you've all heard of paranoia, but pronoia is basically the distinctive feeling that the universe is conspiring in your favor. I don't know what it is about Bologna, but I'm feeling like just, I'm seeing so many synchronicities. Everywhere I look, every graffiti is something that is like to do with me and my life. And I'm really feeling at the moment how my reality is literally created by me. The highest medieval tower in Europe. Just seen one of the most beautiful boys I've ever seen in my life. So said if I see him again, I say hi. Right now I'm designing a line of t-shirts and this is seriously so inspiring. I'm like getting so many ideas in my head. I know what I want, but this is giving me like the exact color tones that I want for my t-shirts. There are three in particular um, that I keep seeing everywhere and it's perfect. And I want it to be like this kind of like crazy mix between um, street style, spirituality, religion, art. I love like the coloring of these insane frescoes and I love the fonts of some of the writing. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting so inspired and I'm so excited to show you guys when they're ready. Um, the sky is literally dripping. Like, can you not imagine this? It's like an incredible sick t-shirt. I haven't been vlogging very much, but I want to show you another one. Hello. It's blue there. <laughs> <laughs> 
just having a good time walking around this city. I'm going to meet my second cousin for dinner. I feel like there's so much to be said about just like spending time with yourself, like quality time with yourself. Um, you know, taking yourself out to dinner, taking yourself out to, you know, window shop or go shopping. Um, or just like walk around, really be with yourself, be in your body and just like be cozy with yourself. Um, I feel like it's sacred and it's just like so beautiful and so special to like have a great relationship with yourself and date yourself, literally. The first night that I was here was so magical. I didn't think of vlogging. I like got all dressed up, put on my favorite lingerie and like took myself out to dinner and it was incredible. Hello, so um, I had such a nice dinner last night. It was with my second cousin and I feel like we just had like the most amazing conversations. And I feel like that was the reason why I was meant to be in Bologna, like right now to see her and to like have the conversation that we had. Um, Cause she's going through like anxiety and stuff. So I feel like it was like the right time. Um, so I left my Airbnb, which was like this crazy kind of like half sex dungeon, fresco ceiling, like so absurd, but really nice. Um, and now I'm doing such a random funny thing. <laughs> this is my first, I'm doing an Airbnb experience for the first time ever. Um, and I'm going horse riding, I'm so excited. I just saw it on Airbnb and I was like, you know what, why not? I don't have anything to do today. And I just feel like my intuition is telling me to go. And like these days I try and follow my intuition as much as I can. Um, <laughs> it makes me laugh because my sister is, um, she's connected to my Airbnb account. And she was, she said to me this week like, what the fuck are you doing? Horse riding in the hills of Bologna. Like, where are you? What are you doing? been writing that was the nicest thing ever i feel like my inner child is so happy right now i'm gonna shake the horses oh wow <laughs> hello <laughs> So the riding was so nice. I like haven't gone riding since I was a girl and I used to ride all the time when I was little. So it felt so good. It felt like I was like a little child again and it was just beautiful and we were like trotting and oh, it was so fun. And then now I'm kind of just like chilling. I have my suitcase, but I kind of don't feel like taking the train back to Rome. So I've just been like sitting. I was listening to that busker singing. He was incredible and so nice. We were chatting. It's quite fun, like, not having a return ticket because then you just, like, do what you feel like. And it's also fun. I, I quite like traveling alone. Um, it makes you feel so free. Like, you can literally do whatever you want. You are the decider of your life. Um, which is true all the time, but I feel like especially when, when you're on holiday. I want to show you the book I'm reading. It's actually so interesting. Mysteries of Atlantis Revisited. Edgar Case, Wisdom for the New Age. I just see so many signs in my life of Atlantis um, and I really feel like I had a past incarnation in Atlantis. Um, so I love this book. It's about, it's basically about a psychic who did, he did like 2,500 life readings and 700 of them had mentioned Atlantis and it's like compiling them all together um, to try and like patch up this like story. But then he also puts science in there and geology to like, in real facts so like you get like a whole overview of the whole atlantis discussion but with also like an esoteric angle <laughs> Goodness, this is the best decision I've made. Look at this. This is the view from the train station. I'm generally so excited to be here. I haven't like been so excited to be somewhere in so long. I haven't been here since I was like eight. I remember I came, I had like an eight-year-old boyfriend. We were super cute. We were on a school trip. Um I almost didn't come because I was having loads of like limiting beliefs. I was like 
do I have enough money to do this? Um, am I just, you know, cheating myself? Do I deserve to be like having the best life ever and having so much fun? Um, so I literally spent the train ride like getting my shit together, writing down my limiting beliefs, um, and then kind of getting to the core of the sponsoring belief. And the sponsoring beliefs that I have that obviously I want to change are, so one that I realize is that um, I don't deserve to be happy for just being me. Like I have to earn my happiness, which I know is not true. I know that that is who I am and it's literally what I came here to experience myself as joy, love, compassion. And two, I have this belief that like money's gonna run out, um, which I, I believe in the law of attraction. So obviously if I have that belief, that's gonna be my reality. So it's so important that I change these subconscious, the thoughts of my subconscious mind, these sponsoring thoughts, because that is what's creating my reality. I literally need to hypnotize myself. The best way to get to your subconscious beliefs are through hypnosis when you're in like an altered state of being. <laughs> I'm laughing if anyone's listening to this. I don't think anyone is, but it just makes me laugh. Um, so right now on the train, I wrote like new affirmations of uh, financial abundance. And I'm gonna create like a kind of subconscious imprint meditation for financial abundance and like security with all like great affirmations like the universe is my unlimited bank. That I don't need to earn infinite abundance. It is who I am. That my natural resting state is infinite abundance and it's just my limiting beliefs that get me from up here to here. And that took a turn, I was meant to just have a nap. And then I had this like, I don't know, maybe intuition to do this um, trauma releasing guided meditation. I'll link it below. That was intense. I've been crying for like a while. Oh, this is to do with the pink flamingo fiasco that on Airbnb, looking for an Airbnb in Venice, I, it's like an apartment that's like themed about pink flamingos. Um, and then here, I don't know if these are flamingos, maybe it's a pelican, but still. Pink flamingos have followed me to Venice. <laughs> I'm living like a G. I'm just sitting here on a dock. I've had such a nice day. Um, such a long day, it was so, so nice. I went into the San Marco Cathedral and I went into the Palazzo Dogale and then I went on a gondola ride, it was so magic. And then I just had my ice cream sat here. And now I'm about to go meet um, a guy who asked me if I wanted to have an aperitivo with him, just so random. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will live today in the present moment. I will be divinely conscious of my breath today. I will be divinely conscious of my thoughts my words, my deeds, for I know that power to create. Thank you for the beautiful dinner yesterday. Thank you for the sun on my face. Thank you for the amazing synchronicities and signs you keep sending my way. I like to start my morning with meditation and then like saying 
thank you, giving gratitude for the things that I've received, um, for how amazingly my life is going at the minute. And I feel like this is just to get me staying on this beautiful high vibe. So it's like I do it to ensure that my life is going to keep going amazingly well. Gratitude is the best insurance that your blessings will continue. But yeah, whenever I find that I'm like worried about something um, ending or I'm saying, you know, my life's going too well, something's going to go wrong, I need to just turn that pivot slightly to thank you for how amazing my life is going because whatever you put your energy into is what's going to grow so when i'm being grateful for these beautiful things in my life that's what i'm giving my energy towards and those things are just going to keep growing and growing and growing all right <laughs> In case the universe didn't make it any more clear for me, look at this pink flamingo. It's a sign. <laughs> I don't know how hot I'm dead. This is crazy. The world is not as it seems, people. I seriously feel like I'm in another dimension right now. Life just feels lighter, more beautiful. I'm leaving Venice now. I had such a good time. And I kind of just want to say, like, why am I even vlogging my life? It's so random. <laughs> I kind of have been feeling more and more this magic in my life since I started meditating and since I've been more in control of my thoughts. And now the universe just like amazes me in every turn. Um, so I wanted to like show this through video to see it just because maybe people might be impacted by this so I show you like when I see physical stuff but a lot of it's like a feeling inside and like my perception of the world is different so that's hard to show on camera but I'm doing my best anyways I hope you enjoyed um, lots of love peace and love I'm literally so touched I'm on the train going back to Rome and I was reading this book about Atlantis and then the guy who was sitting right there was also reading a book and he as he was leaving he got off at Firenze he gave me a bracelet look I'm gonna show you it's the eye of Ra he was telling me it's like an ancient Egyptian symbol and he was like yeah you're reading this book but you might like it um, I don't know why I bought it I bought it off my friend and now I know why to give it to you and I'm just like oh my heart I'm like almost crying he's like this these random acts of kindness are literally what makes the world go around and it like makes me so happy this is literally what I live for um, so thank you so much to this guy I'm like sending him so much love feeling very blessed very grateful so touched and you know these little things aren't coincidences <laughs>